Welcome to a uh, winter. <laughs> Welcome to the the sunlight and the... This is Cosmic Soul Talk with my friend Mystic Jesse, the rainbow. Mystic Tanette, the and light. Mystic Tanette, the light. And we have Mystic Grace with us, with the audio, helping us. And you know, we have our lighting set up beautifully. We're doing this weekly because we feel called to create value for ourselves and share with other people through our conversations and real life experience how we feel about some things and this this week today we're gonna talk about something that we feel it's not talked about that much because it hurts some people to talk about this shit you know <laughs> it's called surviving holiday judgments and when we talk we're today we're gonna talk about hol what holiday judgment means to us and why what do we mean surviving holiday judgments so I think we should have Mystic Jesse start with what what are some holiday judgments that you feel is real to you? I feel like in the holiday season especially it's it's winter time and really my my natural cycle with nature is slowing down i can feel it in my body but i don't always listen like a lot of us it seems to to be speeding up and with the and with that i feel my judgment speeds up hmm. because i'm being called to slow down and go in more and what's happening is uh i have these expectations that come up oh i should be this a certain way especially around the holidays I need to act a certain way around my family my friends mm. there's this this collective pressure even that I feel this current that's like you know normal life on crack <laughs> and, <laughs> and so I feel my judgment come up saying um, oh you're doing it wrong or you're not doing this you're and it's all based on w the ideas that my mind has around how I should show up mm rather than just honoring my body and where I am and my process. And so that's, I feel like the judgments that come up for me are like, you're not going fast enough. You need, mm. to, you need to work on this, you need to go faster. I feel this pressure to go faster and to be someone I'm not and it, and it really it impacts me. And so I'm curious also, <sighs> I mean, even just talking about it, I feel like, <sighs> that that feeling of moving quickly and yeah. uh, I'm curious hearing that like what that brings up for you and and your judgments around this time yeah for me like you know it uh when I think about holiday judgments it's like almost like what's the holiday ego that, that I feel around this time because Thanksgiving season seems to be like the November month and it starts with like Halloween and everyone's like ready to dive into like, you know, Black Friday, the consuming. Let's go. <laughs> Let's pecan pies, pecan pies, you know, <laughs> pecan eggnog. And, I mean, I don't even eat that stuff, but I hear like all this excitement about, uh, surrounding things outside of us. Yeah. And, and buying <laughs> gifts, buying gifts, buy more, buy more. It's like they prepped you to buy during the, you know, Black Friday and then you buy some more and then on January you buy some more because it's cheaper <laughs> and for me I feel the holiday ju judgment is like I'm gonna be surrounded with all of the things I, I said talk about too surrounded by all the things material things people are gonna be more festive they're gonna be more externally happy and the internal happiness is gonna be put to the side for a lot of people because there's mm -hmm. this holiday spirit coming in and luckily for me, it was not really, I wasn't born here. So like, we didn't really celebrate Christmas when it comes to like uh, holidays. We didn't, we went to people's houses, but we didn't like buy gifts even, like we did, but after a while, like we just didn't give a shit. We just didn't give a shit and uh, I just felt, but currently in my current life, it's more about meeting people seeing family like a, fa a time where old energies gather like mm -hmm. people who you didn't talk to like grandparents or your parents are there or people who seen you before you 
have matured. They still see you from that space. And when you change, they're like surprised. And in the beginning for me, the holiday judgments were about being like, I wasn't, I, I felt disconnected in the beginning because it was more traditional. You just show up and eat stuff. You just show up and eat stuff and didn't really feel too connected. You felt connected, but not like it was just like, that's what you do during the holidays. Like, because after the holiday ends, it's almost like what happened to the spirit of Christmas. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, Yeah. but at least like, okay, great. You get a month of the jolliness. <laughs> and, and for me, I realized that I wanted to feel alive more than just Christmas or Thanksgiving. I wanted to, and so instead of like uh, just feeling like I should buy stuff for people, I started be becoming positive. I start, you know, I started talking about positive things and becoming the positive change rather than make it about things, rather than make it about eating turkey. Because actually that what it w that's what it was for me in the past. and. And for me, I guess the holiday judgments were really about what society painted about the holidays or winter time. And around this time is when everyone, it's like the lazier seasons mm -hmm. and until when it comes time to eat, you ate a whole ton. You ate a ton and then you just like, it's, a, it's what you do. And for me to not eat so much too. So <laughs> can you just add on to maybe your holiday experience about what 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 kind of things that let's talk about the the darker side of you know holiday season our our self-judgment during the seasons you know yeah uh, <clears throat> I mean I've even noticed just today how staying in my house because it was cold and it was really cold the last couple of days here in Houston and it was just easier for me to stay inside and I didn't really see anybody but I was doing my own creations and I found that the more that I stayed inside and isolated myself um, and sort of went into this internal even though my body's wanting that mm. there were a lot of things that I was distracting myself with mm. like get like watching a movie or just sleeping just like and I found that whenever I was awake and I like my mind was idle that it was it would go into these darker places of what are you gonna do about money what are you gonna do about like you need to you need to start applying for jobs that you don't even really want mm. and expending I could just feel this sort of my energy this fear feeling of, of needing to rush and scatter mm. and and I knew in my heart that's not what I wanted that 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 would just drain the life out of me and um, and I imagine that like I'm not the only one at, during this time especially in winter that it's it gets overwhelming of of I feel like I'm not only in my own pressure, but collectively picking up on just because we're all family here, you know, we're all going through so many similar things. And so the darker side for me is that sometimes I can spiral and kind of go on this like fear scavenger hunt mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and find all these justifications for things that I don't want. So I feel like it's saying that it's so important for me to be around friends and community uh, because if I'm around myself too long uh, it just <laughs> gets pretty dark mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I would I, I could add to like the the loneliness in the past was really strong for me when it came to like the Christmas spirit because because it seems like a, such a lovely time, and whenever I was, you know, alone, single, it made it made every emotion worse. Like I just felt even more lonely, or I, 
I would think back, what have I accomplished this year? And there were some years where I didn't, I, I just felt like shit. Like, you know, I didn't get much done the, that year. And, um, and because there's a lot of pressure towards the end too, because before the holiday actually happens, Christmas is like one day. But like, there's this like, build like you just don't want to do as much because you're just waiting for those days to come mm -hmm. and so you're just like getting it along and <laughs> and like it's so cold you don't want to do stuff and and when you're in when i'm inside all the time i feel numb i feel v pretty numb mm -hmm. and um yeah. but now let's let's get to how how do i Let's talk about how we get out of that numbness of when we're alone and we are, it's cold, we don't want to go outside <laughs> or we don't want to talk to people because we've been in our little bubble for a <laughs> while because it's so cold that we're not going out as much too. Yeah. And like even Cosmic Soul Circle, I'm, we're slowing it down because of the seasons and because it's cold. Talk about how it can be more healing this season. Like why, mm. why the slowing down happens and see, why do you think the slowing down happens? Everything is colder. The energy is slowing down. People are just like cold freezing and they're kind of in their bubble in their head and uh, <laughs> until like <laughs> the day. So talk about how to, what, what something that you do to stay present and not in your little bubble and like, you know. <laughs> I love your interpretation of the bubble. Yeah. Like, it, it really is like that, though. I mean, um, so, yeah, I, how this can be healing, I, I'm just tuning into just this whole year. Like, I feel that this is a time of deep reflection of how far have I come from January to now. And and to really, really go in and see myself as the person that I was coming into this year and, and allowing myself to kind of travel from January all the way to here. And this season being a time for me to really take stock and evaluate and reevaluate and refine all of the energy that I've put into plans, dreams, creations, and the seeds that I've planted in spring, summer, and fall, all the way to, to now. And that, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot of energy. And all of that energy has been moving, has been building, and now it's time I feel like to really like take it all I've been taking it in but it's time to how this can be healing is breathing all of that in receiving maybe times and moments of connection and love that I might have missed and letting that sink in deeper and letting go of more shit <laughs> more more uh, like shedding skin so evaluating acknowledging celebrating and allowing space for the you know making room I feel like this this winter is all about making room for new energies to come in for a lot of the seeds that I planted to grow and to blossom because if I have this garden that's crowded and it's not receiving nourishment all of what I planted it's going to hinder up and so this I feel like this can be healing when we really do slow down and go inward um, and appreciate ourselves and our what we have put in as this is a time of just you've worked hard and it's okay to relax and rest up because there's going to be more and it's going to be even sweeter so that's I yeah I, I, I agree with the slowing down part 
that instead of like the slow, I, I agree that the slowing down part is for a reason. Mm -hmm. That even animals are slowing down in this season and hibernating. Some of them are just sleeping the whole fucking winter. <laughs> but us humans, we we don't have to. We well, what I really want to say is this for me is a time of deep gratitude. Because for me, winter was not always pleasant like this. I didn't want to show up to anything because I was ashamed of myself in the past. I was ashamed that I was not successful in my life. I was ashamed that I wasn't good enough. I was ashamed that I just wasn't like good enough son to show up to any family gatherings. And I didn't want them to see how shitty I looked and felt. And so now that when I think of like uh, holiday judgment and like this season of slowing down I just dive into like this deep gratitude of like wow you have gone through some shit <laughs> and you're you're you've come so far with and I like I've learned to trust so much in myself and it's still going on like it's like this it's like a similar cycle but a more awakened to net because before I wasn't awake and I was still going through this like a seed blooming and then and then for something better to grow something old has to die and something because mm -hmm. what I realized is that I can plant the seed of gratitude in winter even in the darkness I can plant gratitude mm -hmm. because that love for the old things can help like it, it, it allows me to see it allows me to bloom earlier than most people for me then bloom earlier than how I used to think I could bloom and and so when I think about yeah this is a time where there's more darkness for a reason it's for for me to go inside for me to see how far I've come mm. and for me to see how much good friends I have and all the friends that I still have but don't connect with I realize that I'm surrounding with the ones I do want to be with and that it's not like it's not that I hate people <laughs> it's that I know my tribe I know who I want to be around and uh, I still love everybody but because I love myself so much I want to be around the people who I really want to be around and and uh, I'm so grateful that I'm secure with my love I'm secure enough to say that because in the past, like, what would this person think if I say that? Because there's a lot of people who I don't yeah. hang around right now. And it's not personal. It's just, I want to be around fucking awesome people. And if I make time for people, we're making something awesome. We're not just hanging out. We're, we're doing something visioning. We're creating in darkness. And... So instead of judging myself during the winter, how like, oh, I could have done more this year. Or, <laughs> oh, I don't have enough money this year. Oh, I didn't buy any presents this year. Oh, my diet. Or, oh, I'm not working out. Or I just start, I just stay in creativity with the people who I want to be around. And stay in gratitude. Because and in this season, we can spiral in our minds with like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Christmas, mm -hmm. Christmas, New Year's. New Year's and you know and expectations of like how the holiday should be lonely oh I don't have somebody so I'm lonely I'm lonely I'm lonely I'm lonely but the truth is I have so much to be grateful for and this season now reminds me of how grateful I am for my life especially Thanksgiving and I, every time it's Thanksgiving it reminds me that I can be great that I'm grateful every day Having that one day to remind me, Tanette, you used to not be grateful every day. But when that one day comes to be grateful with everybody, I'm like, wow, I've come so, I've come such a long way that every day I'm in Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's some days where I'm, I'm not, but most days I am. <laughs> and I'm just grateful that I've come a long way. And so what's something that you're grateful for in the holiday season? I am grateful for the 
generous spirit that seems to be present during this time. Mm. Uh, that, that people seem to embody uh, really giving to one another. That it's about, that it's not only a religious holiday, Christmas, and, um, and even Thanksgiving being like about gratitude. People are really in the flow, it seems, to be giving. And I really, I'm really grateful for that. And that the kindness level in humanity seems to be raised during this time. Even though a lot of us are speeding up and we have our difficulties, that is something that I notice every year during this time and that I'm grateful for and that during the holiday season I'm grateful to to check in with my family and to spend time with my family on on a more intimate level even even if I I'm don't connect with my family in the way that I do with you or my cosmic soul friends uh, it's, it's a time to really practice being myself around my family and to really listen to them. So I'm grateful for this time of, of going inward and listening to people my mind might otherwise judge uh, in other times. Yes, I, I agree. The, uh, the family part comes in heavy for me too because the holidays, you spend it with mostly your family, like your blood family, <laughs> and I'm. Be, and there was there's some years where I didn't on some, but almost every year you just it's a family time. And what I'm grateful for is like how big my family has gotten, not just my you know human my f blood <laughs> blood family, but like my like cosmic family, like people beyond who, people who I love as like you know as my family and pe and I love myself more and so like I always come back to myself because I could not love this much if I didn't love myself that much to begin with but I want to touch on what we haven't talked about I I want to say that I'm grateful for Jesus Christ because I, I was raised Buddhist nothing like I'm disconnected from Jesus in the beginning but like I'm surrounded by people who are Christians or this culture is a Christian culture and I wasn't that grateful for Jesus in the beginning. But now I understand all the good work that this mystic has done and and that, uh, you know, it's this season is Christmas, like it's dedicated to the love. I feel like people are connected to more spirituality and more loving because everyone's vibration is more connected to their religion or their culture or there's a time of peace because you know that this mystic being has done such amazing work that this energy has lasted this long the mm -hmm. quality of it is different but the imprint that this mystic has made on the christian culture is so powerful that i have i always remember to thank jesus because mm -hmm. i used yeah. to not be but why not I, if I, I could be grateful for anything and so I just kind of touch on Jesus because I used to not give a shit honestly but the, when I did care it, it helped me connect to people more because they're in that vibe and for me to it humbles me to understand all religions and I'm learning to connect more with like the Jewish tradition and but you know it, it, it's easier to with Christianity because this is like where most of the energy is and I'm grateful that America is evolving beyond religion and just Jesus Christ but to the you know to the Buddha and to create to creating our own culture and that's the beauty of it that it, Jesus did great work and now we can show up as such a powerful being like Jesus and even more like Buddha and like Krishna and that I want to affirm that I'm grateful because all around the world there, there's some celebration happening at this time because of the new year 
and uh, it's like it's nice to have a global celebration mm -hmm. because you feel like when you're on T, like you when you see the TV, <laughs> they're like everyone's seen like yeah, yeah. Even if it's alcohol, it's still a celebration. Yeah, and it's nice for people to be in celebration because there's so much to celebrate, and at least there's yeah. a couple of days or weeks that we can be in that celebratory energy and i yeah. i love celebrations especially spiritual parties party all right <laughs> and so how do you want to end this um yeah let's just anything else you want to add about you know what let's give a final message and then we could we'll take a break and then we'll do a meditation i feel like that like maybe like something that we would want um ourselves and maybe our close friends and family to know moving into yeah the like, holiday season like, like a truth that you want pe like to be heard like a truth that you want people to be aware of that's true to you involving the holiday season or just yeah like well involving like this season yeah especially okay. the holiday spirit yeah uh what what comes up to for me is this holiday season is is a theme of gentleness and gentleness and love and community and allowing space for these things and to really embody these these things to embody a sense of connection and community and even if that means being honest when it hurts even though that means saying something that you've been holding back and that it might mean the ending of some relationships, it might mean the ending of a job or something that you didn't anticipate ending. And I say you and I mean me too. Mm. Like, <laughs> uh, but just that in these moments, of letting go in these moments of death because it is winter mm. to remember that that whatever it is that's dying that it's okay to let go and and trust that there is something so much better and more magical and more loving that is going to take the place of whatever it is that is dying and and that during this time of letting go to surround ourselves with our family, our soul family, people who really truly support and don't need to fix us or need to advise us through it, but just to hold space because we can't go through this, this time of death, which also involves grieving alone. We've got to have our friends. Mm. So that's to me and to anyone who needed to hear that. Good message. And what about yours? I want to say that it's okay to be hurt, you know. It's okay that we're sad and that we can let go of sadness when we're ready. That cuz this season can be very lonely for a lot of us and cuz it used to be a very lonely time for me. And so I would just numb watching TV, watching jolly stuff, watching Christmas movie, listening to Christmas music, and I didn't face myself. And I didn't know that I could let go of the pain that I felt. So I just want you to know that it's okay to let go and it's okay to be sad. Like, you don't have to hide the sadness that when we just show up being sad with people, that we'll get support. Instead of feeling shame about our sadness, just show up with the freaking sadness in people and they will take care of you as long as you love yourself enough to show up as yourself. Because if we hide our sadness, we're hiding it from ourselves. But really, it's still there. So we're not really hiding shit. We're just <laughs> pretending like we don't see it and everyone sees it, including ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that uh, I know that even though I may have felt like shit in the past and didn't want to show up to family gatherings, I needed to be there. 
I needed to be around people, even though I wanted to be alone and numb myself and play video games. I needed to be around people and uh, connect with people, even just be around people that give a shit about you and stop mm -hmm. hanging around people who don't give a shit about you. And you know, even though it may be one or two people, at least you got one or two. Instead of hanging around 10 shitty people that you don't really want to <laughs> be around, and that you have to drink alcohol to be around, hang out with one or two people who you really want to be around so that we can feel love and that we can feel mm. connected and uh, know that somebody out there gives a shit about you but it requires you giving a shit about yourself first enough to face that you're tired of being sad you're tired of being lonely that i was tired of being lonely i was tired of being sad and i did something about it and all i did was really show up with what i really want show up speaking love instead of waiting for everyone to be positive and life-changing i became the change i became the positivity and it took me showing up looking like shit with my baggy eyes doing a lot of drugs <laughs> being dehydrated all the time lips always dry and still taking photos with people feeling like shit <laughs> but at least i showed up to those things and not just mm. hid in my dark cave <laughs> anyways we're about to guide a meditation soon but we're gonna take a break because that's what we're gonna do all right be right back